Hello everyone and welcome. So in this video I wanted to show you how I created this infinite mirror effect in Odini. As you can see we have a quite thin surface but inside we have this infinite look. Let's have a look. First I'm creating the text and that's easy enough just with a font then extrude it, place it in the center then I'm grouping the, the front and back primitives and splitting them here and grouping again the solid part and then the mirror part then just adding a small bevel and soften the normals as you can see Then for the material, that's where the magic happens, here in the mirror, I'm creating a metallic, a mirror, so metalness set to 1 and roughness to 0, and then a glass material, transmission set to 1 and roughness to 0, and tin walled. And then I'm mixing those two materials with a ray import set to ray back face. This is the way you can create two sided materials. So in front we will have the, the glass and on the back of the face we will have the, the mirror. So for the LED strip it's quite simple. I'm just importing the, the text keeping just one of the primitives converting it to curves and then splitting them here by perimeter so I can work on both sides and then extruding a bit in so I can place the, the LED strip not uh, necessarily adjacent to the to the text then grouping the um, the unshared edges converting them to curves and then applying uh, a color attribute to every 20 points with just an attribute adjust color and then sweeping it to a ribbon as you can see in here then just softening the normals then for the render geometry settings i am i am treating it as a light source giving it some diffuse intensity and some specular intensity too and just a dome light to illuminate the outer material that I haven't showed you but it's just a solid material in this case two materials mixed again with the back face one is more rough and the other one is less rough So if we render every, everything, we should get something like this. The infinite look. Then in cops, I am loading the, the render blurring it a bit and adding it on top so i can create this glow effect and just crop it and that's about it you can grab the the file from my patreon and thank you everyone for the support and i'll see you next year thank you